Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Ross, and today's question, we're going to show you how to do a short time value without the AM or PM, but also stay in 12-hour format. Why? You'll see why in just a second. Okay, today's question comes from Julie, and Julie says, I have start time and end time fields in my table with a medium date format, and I've concatenated them in a query to look like that, start time dash end time, with the following result. Looks good. But I need it to display as 1.30 to 2.30 in a report. I know I can format to HHMM. It's actually HHNN. M is for month. N is for minutes. But is there a way I can get to a short version like this without getting in 24-hour time? Because as soon as you do that, 1.30 p.m. becomes 13.30. And also the problem is when you try to format the fields like that, you get it stuck where the 1.30 comes before the 8.30. So if you have a class that starts at 8.30 in the morning and ends at 1.30 p.m., it's going to get sorted wrong. And she says, I'm working with school times, 9 to 3, so there is no 1 a.m. or 8.30 p.m. times. So that's a case in where you might want to do it in a short version like that without the a.m. or p.m. because you never need it. Okay, so here's a simple table. We have a class name, a start time, and an end time. All right, these are just the raw data in the table, 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m., 10 o'clock a.m. to 2 p.m., 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., and so on. All right, so here's a query. All right, class, start time, end time. And if you run it, that's what it looks like with basic no formatting on the times. So first, let's get these formatted as just hour and minute with the a.m. and the p.m. So let's go to design view. And I'm going to set up st colon start time is format the start time field as, let's set it up as just HH colon NN. Remember, N is for minute, M is for month. All right, and I'm, I'm going to put the AM slash PM at the end of it like that. We'll do the same thing with N time in just a second here. Okay, so there we go. There's our short version with AM and PM. Okay, let's do the same thing with N time. I'll just copy and paste that column there. All right, this will be ET phone home and end time okay so these are a little more manageable now if you're okay with that leading zero this will be real easy to do all we have to do basically is convert this over to text which access will do automatically for us and just chop off the right three characters right the space PM or the space AM so really what I need is the left five characters there that's why I said if you are if you're okay with that leading zero then this gets real easy so let me shrink these down here all right, so let's say ST2 is going to be the left of ST, comma, 5, the left five characters. And if I run that now, look how easy that is. And if you're not worried about the AM, PM, then that's easy. All right, do the same thing here with end time. So ET2 is the left of ET, comma, 5. Run that, and there you go. Now, here's the thing. These are text values, and if you sort them, it's not going to give you a proper date-time sort. So you need to leave this value in your report and also bring in this. So you're going to base the report off of time Q now, the query. Use this for your sorting, and then use this for the actual display. You can do both. All right, you can sort based on one field and display another one. Now, if you really want to get rid of that leading zero, you can take a look and see what it is, and if so, make the adjustment, all right? So, now you can put this all inside of one column if you want to, inside of one calculated field. I like breaking it up, though. It makes it easier to understand. All right, so right over here, we're going to say ST3 is like this. If the left of ST2, comma 1 equals a zero, then this value is going to be the right of st2 comma how many characters four otherwise just leave it as st2 all right makes sense now let's take a peek see there you go basically saying if the leftmost character here left one is a zero then make this the right four characters otherwise leave it alone that's the if function, immediate if. I will put links to lessons that talk about all these other functions in the description field below the video. All right, let's do the same thing here with end time. So ET3 is going to be the left of ET2, comma one, da -da -da, da -da -da, 
And, oh, I almost did it with one too many. There we go, right there. All right, and go. Okay. And now we can put this all together into one field just the way you want it. So we come over here. And we say class time times class times is going to be st3 ampersand a dash ampersand et3 just like that and run it there you go there's your class times now this is for display purposes only so when you make your report you're still going to sort based on start time end time or start time or however you're going to sort the report just bring this whole query in as the as the uh the record source for your report and then you can display that and sort by that so a basic report you just simply go to create and then report design i like building stuff from scratch i stay away from the wizards all right we're going to set the record source which is going to be my time queue that i just created all right got to base it on the query so you get all those values in it okay add existing fields what do we want what do we want to see in the report i want to see the class information and I want to see this class times field that I created for the display. All right, turn that off. Take these labels, chop them off, put them up here in the page header. All right, slide your class over here. Put your class times next to it. All right, grab that bottom here. Slide it up. I cover all this in my lessons, how to build reports. All right, save this real quick as my time R, my time report. Now, if I close it and take a look at it, all right. It just so happens that my values, let's say we're sorting by start time, okay? My values just in my table just so happen to work. But notice now we're getting that, that time sorted this way. Basically, you're, you're, you're seeing the values as they appear in the table. Let's change things up a little bit. Let's go 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. All right, notice this is adjusted accordingly. If I open up my report though, okay, that there's still a no particular sort order. So let's add a sort, design view. How do we add a sort? Well, go to grouping and totals, grouping and sorting right there. That turns this little bottom thing on. Add a sort. What do you want to sort by? Sort by start time. Now, these, these are the fields in the actual table right here, start time and end time. All right, so pick start time. That'll sort now from oldest to newest based on start time. All right, and you can close this little value thing here if you want to. Now, shut down the time report and open it back up again. And now notice that we're sorted based on start time, right? And it's the actual time value in the table. All right, math is first at 10 a.m., followed by gym at 1 p.m., followed by English. And that's how you do it. That's how you, that's how you can basically create any kind of a look you want with a query. With If you know the text manipulation functions and how to do left and right and mid and all that crazy stuff, and I teach all that in my classes. I'll put links below. And then when you make your report, you just have to remember to sort on the original value and display whatever you want. You could also do all that formatting inside the report itself. I prefer doing it in an underlying query, but you can do all that stuff right inside of a field inside the report. Queries are just easier. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. Click on the little bell and select all. You'll get notifications whenever I post new videos on YouTube. If you're watching this video on my website, make sure you subscribe to my access forum. There's the link. And you'll get email notifications every time I post something on my website. Got a question you'd like to see answered? Well, post it on my website, post it on YouTube, post it here on my Tech Help page. And if I like it, I'll make a video just like this one. And of course, you can always email me. There's my direct email address. There's where you can find me. My blog, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all that stuff. Shameless advertising. If you like this video and you want to learn more access, you can watch my free level one class. It's three hours long. Wait, there it is. Three hours long. It's a three hour tour. No, 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 no. Remember that? Uh, it's on my website right there. It's also on YouTube. Follow that link, free level one. And if you like level one, you can get level two for just a dollar. That's a great deal. It's another hour long class. Again, thanks for watching and take care. Keep learning.